Hi guys, me again as what? And this time is a unique review. I want to do a review. Life lessons from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now I'm gonna do a few life lessons from this game which I love. Call of Duty 2019, the Modern Warfare 2019 by Treyarch. It's one of my favorite game of last year and I'm still playing it till this year in June. And I have to say it's one of my favorite games and I learned a lot just playing it I learned a lot so I'm not gonna give you tips on how to play the game on the game itself because you can the tip is easy you have to play it you have to put hours in it you have to play a lot I've gotten very very good at it which I'm proud to say since I wasn't a fan of the previous one I played better I played uh uh black ops and stuff like that but this one is my favorite however for today's video i want to do um life lessons that i gain from this move from this game called the team modern warfare 2019 in that you can apply in real life and i know a lot of young people like to play this game and i found a lot of life lessons that the youth can apply in their life whether they are work, going to work finding work and stuff like that how you might ask yes we here we go now in if you play if you play the game i think some of you watching this have played the game there's a lot of maps in the games and i think there will be more maps coming in the classic map the good the modern maps um and there's a lot of things i got from the map playing the maps the variety of map from the most hateful is like Piccadilly everybody hates Piccadilly everybody hates Eupirates Bridge and somewhere there's a lot of maps that um, some of our immediate favorite for me my immediate favorite are Crash um, I love Crash uh, even the palace Ania Palace I love it and then there's some map that I don't like like I said Piccadilly and then you purchase bridge at first ah this is the lesson that i i want to share because here's my take on the maps there are maps that you like there are maps you don't like now what is applicable to real life jobs or place of living or whatever anything that have to do with place or new work sometimes there are places that you don't like to be in you know, you go into a job, the job pays you good money, but you are not happy because a lot of bad things in the office or a lot of bad things in that location and whatnot. Now, here's a lesson from Call of Duty. Call of Duty has the same kind of thing that stuck me. There are some maps that you hate. There are some maps that you love. But, fine when you get the good maps. And then, what I learned is, I learned to play the maps that i hate at first i hate them right so same as jobs there are jobs that you want you like the good place sometimes you have to transfer to places that you don't like now good workplace bad situations now this is what i learned from call of duty okay for example i got a bad map that i don't like playing in which is if bridge if it is bridge there's one big bridge and then you the one side is all, all the way there this this map is a campus heaven campus heaven means people can just camp in one place and just night view from afar because there's so there's not a lot of place to hide but just wide open spaces right at first i hate this kind of map i when i see it i will immediately get out when i see i'm being i have been put on those map i would pull myself out and then I I decided to play anyway. You know what? Because I, I just want to try instead of just giving up and then quitting, play anyway. So when I start to play, I put hours in, keep on going. And it's true what I said. At first I hate it. There's a lot of places that you know in the game that oh my what what is this map? I keep complaining to people. But sometimes I played and then this is the key to any and everybody in playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare knows this. And it's something that I forget, I forgot, 
that sh I should everybody should do this when you play a map in Call of Duty any map you need to travel all over the place you travel don't sit in one place don't be a camper travel look at all the nice places they are very well designed so it's enjoyable to look at them but my good tip is explore the map explore the map and and see the benefit and see the enemy fight enemies on those map fight explore the locations you know around the map and this is what i discovered now euphrates bridge has become my favorite bridge i am shocked and all the bridge all the places that i said i hated once you play it once i played it i explore it they, those things has become my favorite place because i know the locations where it's good to shoot where I'm good you know my capability to fight I can know I, I know where I can stand and stand my ground and win a lot of battles in my location I found several locations like in that the future's bridge I found like one two three four four locations that I know I'm gonna be master at from at first I only know one but because I explore the map I, f I spend time in the map you know and looking at the whatever find the location find the silver linings that's my point and I became good at the game at those map that I first hit okay now how to apply like I say apply in your real life right if you go starting to work you're starting college you're starting new school new environment new location travel take your time explore the location explore your workplace explore the people explore the environment around your workplace or inside whatever it is explore don't don't sit in your place and then moan oh my god this place sucks explore once you explore you will find out the in between the lines places you know secret location secret places secret people <laughs> secret people means they might not be in your department they might be another department and then it might be not be in your course it could be another course you know a lot, a lot of my friend married found their wife and spouse at another course because they mingle around they go around they travel they explore that's what you should do in life in college after you leave college you start work you end up in a bad company or a horrible don't stay at one place you travel and look find out so what i found out that applicable there is there are places even your workplace anywhere college good places or you say good people they are good to you and you can enjoy your time there by hanging out with them you know that's how you do it that's the lesson i got from call of duty i was playing it i was thinking like yeah 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 i did this it's not deja vu you know so i applied reapplied that back in this game i explored the map i found the best places to hide to shoot um so you benefit that's my life lesson that i learned from call of duty modern warfare i want to share with you you are still playing Call of Duty, you hit one map or two map, three map, whatever, explore it. I guarantee you, you will find good places where it suits you. I think the game maker, the game developer is very smart. They don't want you to camp. They want you to travel, to, to explore the map, and you will find the places. I found them, more than one. And that makes me happy, makes me want to play more. And that's life also the more you find out you explore don't stay in one place you travel search location meet people and then you can find oh these people are good to me these places is good to me and then you find the civil linings of your situation so that's my what i learned call of duty that you can apply in your life okay i want to share that i just i just love the game I keep finding more and for me it's not just an action game it's very it's like a puzzle game puzzle games like in terms of what weapon is best what weapon is you good at this situation certain situation 
and I played all the weapons. It's so so educational in a lot of ways. I was surprised because I thought the previous one is just a very shooter oriented. This is more puzzle. What weapon? What what uh, equipment to use? What perks to use? It's such a stimulating game. And in the end, I found my oh, this is deja vu. You know, you can apply this in life too. So that's it. That's I want. I want you guys to give this game a chance and then also in life explore your location explore your places you know uh before giving up before you know i i i, I when i when I, previously before i did this kind of thing when i go into a bad map i would get out i was so frustrated give up already if you feeling that you want to quit or give up before you do all that explore you know, some people kill themselves, suicide, and some because they cannot stand it. There's a lot of elements in it. I wish I could be there for people before they give up on life. You should explore life, explore your location. I I gone through all that. I gone through depression also when I was uh, in college, and I was gone through bad times. A lot of bad times gone through, but I found silver linings. Good people. The most important thing is good people. Good locations to just chill, and then good hobbies that you can enjoy and nobody doesn't bother anybody, and you know find benefits in that and find joy in life. That's what you should do. That's a lesson I learned in life, but also in Call of Duty. Explore, my friend. Okay, peace.